I feel a bit nervous now. Who's winning? You are. Am I going to die? Welcome along guys. Well today I'm doing something a little bit different, a little bit nervous this morning because I'm going to be riding the Rocket 3 up the indoor drag strip at the Devitt Insurance MCN show at the Excel Centre. So um, yeah, I've never done any sort of drag racing before. I've launched a few bikes messing about but I'm going to be on the, on the GT Rocket 3 today and uh, if you look behind there's a few shots of the drag strip. A little bit nervous about this I have to say but um, we should be fine. There's been a few stories around the paddocks chatting to people. Someone crashed on the Friday on the Harley and went come off at the end and it was a bit sketchy the surface. So a little bit nervous, but I'm sure it'll all be good. Chopsy, roll that intro. So we've got a few people here. This is, we're, it's eight o'clock in the morning. This hasn't actually opened yet. We're gonna be doing the first um, runs, a practice run. So we're not doing it, you know, for the first real at one o'clock. And basically you go until you get to that first gantry. So that first gantry there, leave it. There's your light, you launch it and you, uh, try and stop at the end without going through the wall. Good luck with that second. Guy, that's yeah. right? <laughs> I'm going to be riding the Rocket GT, but we're doing the practice runs on the Speedmaster. So I'm going to be launching the Rocket. We've got Womble as well. He's not riding though. He's itching to ride, aren't you? He's itching to ride. But, uh, but yeah, we're doing the first practice on the Speedmaster. And then when we do, when I do the actual run, it's going to be on the Rocket, Rocket 3. So be first time I've launched a Rocket 3 off the bat and there's crowds of people watching. So that'll be fun. And I wasn't nervous, I'm a little bit nervous about this. When we, when I, <laughs> I thought everyone would be going quite gentle and then there were some videos come out yesterday of people bombing up. There he is. Oh, there you, oh, there you doing, mate. So, uh, yeah, this is the practice run. Is that? Have you ridden a speed before? Yeah, I have. I haven't launched. I've never launched one though. <laughs> well, did I launch the Speedmaster? No, I didn't. Oh, he's taking it. He's going for the slow and steady approach. Are you going to do that as well? Are you? No, you've got to give it a bit of a. Brrr. Yeah, you got. You can't do that later, can you? you? You can't do that later. So you may as well go for how you're going to do it later. Eight point nine. That's what we've got to be. We should be all right. We should be all right. I could run faster than that. I could probably do 8.9 running. <laughs> or maybe that is me. You probably could do an 8.9 running. Oh, yeah. Very good. Well done. What was that? What was that? 8.1. 8.1. 6.81. Oh. So you're winning, you're winning so far. It's nice in the chrome, doesn't it? So this is the, what I'm riding is the Rocket 3 Chrome, the new Chrome collection from Triumph. And this is the Speedmaster. I have ridden the Speedmaster before. Not on the drag strip though. Lovely, cheers. So okay, really, just when you go down the run, see these straight these covers over yeah. the So you run right the way down the middle. Yeah. So when you do your run, stay either to the right or to the left, wherever you start from here, you won't uh, be central. Oh okay. Display the side of those covers. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> Bit more. Eyes are down, wait for the lights. Woohoo! <laughs> Simple as that.
4.88. Jeez. That needs to be calibrated, surely. <laughs> so I'll be launching the rocket green then, so I won't have even ridden it before. That's good fun. Piece of cake. What was the time? 4.88. 4 That's not bad, is it? That's not bad, is it? 4.88. That wasn't bad, was it? Smashed it, smashed it. I probably won't be able to beat that later. I'll be, I'll be rubbish later on. I'll stall all the line. Oh, God. Drop the splash. I need this. What's it? Six times you get up? I was up at five o'clock. Five o'clock. I was up at quarter to six. <laughs> but it was an early start. He had to get up early to do his air. Three flip round before it all opens and the, and the chaos begins. I think right. I'm going to be on the Chrome Edition GT, which is this. Are going to wheel that round? I guess so, yeah. It's all bolted in, isn't it? Well, they might have another one, I suppose. Suits you. Wombles after some new Alpine Star Super Tech R's. Excuse me, how much are your Super Tech R boots? 430. 430. Oh, 430. We've got last year's model here at 299. 299 for last year's, mate. That's what we got to go for. 430. Have you got them in size 9? You could, look, you could save yourself 100 quid and get last year's model. Or you could have had under quid more. Season, nah, I'll be alright. I'm telling your missus, you went, you could have got under quid cheaper and then you went for the more expensive well, one. I'll buy you, you'll be in trouble buy then. Lunch. When she sees the video, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> I don't, we don't need a receipt. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was going up the strip, wasn't it? The, the, the RCV was going up there yesterday. Was it? Yeah, I thought someone was riding this up there. Uh... You want to buy it? For sale. How much is it going to cost me then? Cash. <laughs> Cash. 200 grand. 200 grand? Really? Bargain. In 16, they were 150. Well, they really? So they've yeah, gone up. So you, you, you're guaranteed investment, aren't you, really, with it? Well, yeah, you, you buy, you buy oh, I've got BMW. You buy one of them over there, every day you're poorer. It's true. Yeah, this, every true. day you're richer. Yeah. Even if it's only a pound, yeah. you're getting richer. That's true. Way better off waiting for some mud guy like me to sell a bike and then buy it. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so original question is how much is it? <laughs> Look at that bad boy. <laughs> it's going at that. Look at that. It's 15 minutes before the first run. I'm, at the, I'm on the 10 o'clock strip, so it's the first one of the day. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confident, quietly confident. Should be okay. The Speedmaster test actually was all right. 4.8 seconds. I was quite happy with that. But I've never launched a Rocket 3 before. So the first time I'm going to be launching it is on the drag strip. Bit uncertain how much grip there's going to be on the surface. Apparently the, the MD from, Gut, from Harley binned it on the Friday at the end. And a few people have said it was a little bit sketchy, you know, to stop and stuff. <laughs> I am a little tiny bit nervous. There's a, obviously the people are turned up now. The uh, the punters are in it, as it, as it were. But uh, let's have a few of the, look at the other bikes in the paddock here. We have this bad girl, which would probably be a, be a little bit more familiar to me. This is a real H2R though, a real H2R, this one. But they're very similar to my bike, of course. Yeah, I, apparently Kawasaki are taking this pretty seriously. <laughs> They've got tyre warmer on the rear and everything. No one else has got warmers on. I think Kawasaki wants to win this. We've also got some strokers here. We've got the Barachine 500 GP bikes. I mean, they're going to sound incredible going up and down the strip there. Can't wait to hear those. BMW have their new s 1000 rr plus I think some of the roast bike. I think Hickey's here on his roast bike as well. Then we've got a few proper strokers here again, proper race bikes. Yeah, but my GT's not here yet. My Rocket 3 has yet, is yet to arrive. It's an investment, darling. It's an investment, exactly. I bet that cake goes well. The what? The electric. Yeah, yeah, the cake. And you're talking about the cake. I'm more cake than man, so we'll <laughs> see later. Yeah, I think there's been some complaints that people are damaging the, uh, the surface here. So, uh, yeah, take note. I would love to have a go on one of these one day. Oh, what a thing. What a thing. Getting exciting. It's getting exciting. Here she is, my chrome beauty. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you very much. A little bit nervous now. <laughs> A little bit nervous now. Seems to be a pretty tall bottle. 
What mode's it in? Just road mode, yeah? Yeah, I'll leave it in that then. Bit. Bit of extra traction. Bit of extra traction. I'm in rain, I'm in rain mode, numpty mode. Again, electric power, phenomenally impressive. Do you think I'll need to go into second or is it all really just first gear? Second. I will, yeah? Okay. Put your earplugs in for this one. Here we go. So yes to this. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. Whoa, what about that? It's a 4.8 seconds to beat. That's what I did on the Speedmaster. See if I can beat 4.8 on the rocket. It was quite easy to launch a Speedmaster, they're saying that. Oh, it's alright. I'm only up against the likes of Peter Hickman. You know, we're all good here. We've got, we've got the skills, we've got the skills and we've got the hardware and I've never ridden this motorcycle before and I've got to launch it. So I've never, it's been about a year since I've ridden the Rocket 3, I've never launched a Rocket 3 and uh, yeah, I've, I've got to launch it in front of a big crowd of people, first time ever doing it. No pressure. RG500 XR14, 500cc, Peter, who's got the quickest time at the moment? Do you know who's winning? You are. Oh, really? On the uh, oh yeah, on the Beamer. Three point seven. Three point seven. That's the time to beat on this then. <laughs> well, I may be able to, but I won't be able to stop. <laughs> Big Rob Jackson, BSB Kawasaki regular. Am I going to die? this, don't even know. It's not going to be a quick time, is it? If we'd had a few attempts, I think we'd just get one attempt and that's it. If there's a couple of attempts, you could get a bit quicker, couldn't you? But... Do I need that back? I got it! Two, nine, two. Oh, it's me now. Now I'm nervous all of a sudden. I've got to be able to stop the other end. <laughs> oh dear. I'm more worried about turning it around at the end. Look. Oh, it's not as long as that, so I should be there. Brakes, brakes are here. Oh Jesus, what am I doing? Why did I agree to do this? Hill hold controls on. Don't want the hill hold on when I'm launching, do I? I can bugger off. <sighs> here we go. Here. It's me. Ram chops, that's me. The bloody spin up. <laughs> I 
bit of a spin up there. I haven't got the rest of the day, that's my only run. Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, that was all right, it just had a spin. <laughs> that's it, me done. That is it, all done. All these bikes are available on the track stand. That's it all over, that was it. All that preparation, well, preparation, all that work for four seconds on the jack strip. <sighs> Span out a bit, I was like, I couldn't even. Brrr. I don't know if I hit the middle bit or whatever, but if, what did I get? Rubbish because it spun out, wasn't it? I lost all my time, didn't I? Oh, that's good fun though. That's yeah. quite exciting, yeah. I think I really appreciate the invitation for that. That was a. Uh, I was sat there thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? This is when you do need to be a bit of a burnout, isn't it? Because yeah. the tyres are just so yeah. cold. Yeah. You just can't put that power down in that, you know, that time in this surface as well, isn't it? Yeah. It just goes once and then the traction obviously kicks in and then yeah. and then that's it in there. But that's brilliant. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Can I grab the key off you for Of course you can, yeah, no problem at all. That's it, just one go, is it? That's just your lot, is it? Yeah.